keeping pulse with the bass. It's a good time to maybe say that, that the bass has really two primary functions in a jazz ensemble. One is to establish the root and the root of the chord, and then to maybe play around that root of the chord a little bit. That's why we've been doing so many roots and fifths, and maybe just pulling away from fifths a little bit into other uh, steps of a scale. But really, the root of the chord is what's important that the bass plays. Then the other job is to keep time and, um, and to lay down sort of a style foundation for the piece. So when we're playing walking bass, and we've already been doing this quite a bit, I'll stay in the key of B flat, I try to really keep a nice, straight, even half note or quarter note tempo. So half notes. Really even. Or if we go to quarter notes. So you bought health insurance. Now what? You should receive a welcome packet from your insurance company, which will generally include a welcome letter, instructions for paying your premium and selecting a primary care provider, and your insurance card. Keep this card with you at all times. You should create an account on your plan's website, where you can find important information on your plan. If you haven't selected a primary care provider, do this right away. Check the list of doctors in your health plan's network found on their website. After you've chosen a primary care provider, set up your annual appointment for a wellness visit, a critical part of your routine care. Routine and preventive care catch health problems before they occur or in their early stages. Also, make appointments for preventive services, such as vaccinations, mammograms, and prostate exams when needed. These services are now free. Depending on your plan, visits to specialists may require a referral from your primary care provider. Always make sure these providers are in network. Here are some things you may want to bring to your wellness visit. Your ID and social security number, your insurance card, and a list of questions for your doctor. If you have a new primary care provider, contact your former doctors and have your medical records transferred. If you see a specialist, it's a good idea to request that they share your medical records with your primary care provider. After your visit, you'll receive a receipt of your claim in the mail or online called an Explanation of Benefits, or EOB. Your EOB will look something like this. It usually says this is not a bill. It lists the services you received, how much your insurance paid, and any payment you owe the provider. The provider will send you a bill for that amount. Your EOB will also have instructions for filing a grievance or appeal. If the provider is out of network, you may owe the entire balance of charges. You can call your provider to negotiate these charges or ask if you can set up a payment plan. In this section, your EOB shows your deductible and out-of-pocket limits for the year. Once you meet the limits, you'll no longer pay these costs. Most people don't pay a full deductible or reach the out-of-pocket maximum in a year unless they've been in the hospital, had an emergency, or are under treatment outside of routine care. If you don't feel well, you should call your primary care provider for guidance on whether it's more appropriate to go to the ER, an urgent care center, or make an appointment. The ER should only be used in a true emergency. If you buy insurance through the marketplace, you should purchase during open enrollment, usually at the end of the year. Even if you have a plan you like, you can always explore new options on healthcare.gov. If you don't have insurance, you may have to pay a penalty when you file your taxes. The Pennsylvania Insurance Department reviews changes in plan costs every year. Visit the department's website to see proposed rate changes for the next year and find out more about this process. Do you think you're ready? Let's review. Keep your insurance card with you. Choose a primary care provider. Understand which providers are in and out of network and whether you need a referral. Go to the appropriate places for care. Don't visit the ER for non-emergencies. Make preventative care appointments. Check your explanation of benefits to verify services and amounts you owe and to track your yearly costs. Pay your monthly premiums and check the marketplace during open enrollment. Always visit the insurance department website for more information 
including annual proposed rate changes.